How to structure your React applications. In this video, we'll go through this store application. This app has four pages and each of those pages has its own specific set of components. I will show you how did I structure this application and this is the approach that I generally use to organize my React apps. Let's go through the functionality first. So first page, let's go through the functionality first. So the first page is storefront. On this page, we render a bunch of product cards. Each card has a button saying add to cart. If you click this button, the product is being added to the cart and the button is disabled. Let's add a bunch of products. Now let's go to the cart. It's our second page where we can review the list of the products we want to buy and we can remove some of them if we've changed our minds. Then we can go to checkout page. Here we have a list of products that we're going to check out. We can enter our name, credit card number, and expiration date, and CVV code. We place the order. This is the fourth page with the order summary. And we can get back to the store and start the whole process all over again. Now let's look at the folder structure. On the top level, I have all my pages defined. The cart, the checkout, home page, and order summary. Note that I didn't create a pages folder where I would group all those pages components. And in my opinion, it just doesn't give you any useful information. On the top level, we already only have the pages, context, and shared components. And I think it's enough to separate the shared components into the shared folder. And maybe the cart context, it is the context component that manages the cart information, like how many items are in the cart and allows to add and remove them. Maybe this component, this cart context, should actually be shared because we use it uh, in all other components. But anyway, adding another folder called, for example, pages, and putting all the page related components into this folder would just be an overkill and would make the application harder to navigate. Another unnecessary separation that I often see is creating a folder for container components called maybe containers and uh, another folder for presentational components called views or presentational components. Let's call it views. This is another kind of structuring your application in a way that doesn't convey any useful information. Knowing that this component is a view or presentational component that doesn't contain any business logic or it is a container component that has the business logic is not as useful as giving your reader, your fellow coder, the hint on how is your application actually structured. I mean, in terms of dependencies, like what depends on what, what component is rendered first, what are its children, and in what order will they get rendered. This is actually the information that you can convey using the files and folder structure. Like, for example, let's open the home folder. This component represents our storefront page, where we render a list of product cards. Product cards are used only on the storefront page. So they belong to this page specifically, they're not shared. And you can see this in the folder structure. We have our home component and we have our product card. Also, we have the index file. In this index file, we export only the home component from this folder. So that if we are, for example, in our checkout page, we have no idea that the home module contains products card because this card should be only visible for the home component that renders the storefront page. The only thing that we show outside of this module are the contents of the home component file and that's it. So home page module only exposes the home component and that's it. Another thing to look out for is the direction of your dependencies. In other words, we have our home component, home page component that renders 
the product card. So our home page component depends on the product card. So we refer to it in our imports section in our file. If we look at the product card, it should not depend on the home component. So our dependencies are unidirectional. In other words, they go only in one direction and not the other. Here is a hint. If you open some of your component files and you look at its import section, make sure that when you see the two dots, that means that you're referring to some module that is higher up in the file structure, you only refer the components or modules that are meant to be shared. Like in my case, it is types where I need to import the product type. This application is written in TypeScript or the card context. But as I said, I might actually move it to the shared folder so it gets less confusing. And the only place where I see the two dots, as I said, meaning that we're referring to something higher up in the file hierarchy, are shared components. So the bottom line, React applications are represented by the trees of components. So in order to make it easier to navigate them, try to recreate this dependency structure in your folders. So if your top level components are pages, then put them on the top level. Then if your page has its own specific components that are only rendered on this specific page, put them put them in this specific page folder, like here, cart has cart items, home page has product cart, home page is our storefront, and so on. If you have some components that are needed for multiple pages, create a shared folder and put them there. For example, I have my header here, a loader, and a cart widget. Cart widget being this little thing in the header that shows the amount of products in your cart, and that allows you to navigate to the cart if you have the product there. Overall, my recommendation is to avoid separating your components and splitting them into folders by their type, like views or presentational components or container components or controllers, and instead split them into folders by their domain. So domain being, in my case, specific page. In your case, it might be something different, like specific screen, or maybe you have everything on one screen, but then still the file structure of your application can in some way repeat the structure of your component tree. And the last tip, when you write tests for your components, don't put them in a separate tests folder. It makes it harder to tell which components are already covered with tests. I recommend to put your test files just besides the components you're testing. This way you can just glance through the file structure and see, okay, product card, product card is tested, home component, home component has its own homespec.tsx, it means it's tested. So it's visually obvious if some component is tested or not. Hope it was useful. If you have any other questions about structuring your React apps or React applications in general, leave them in the comments below.